Disney with the Daddios. We're getting ready to do the Wild Africa Trek at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Are you ready to come with us? Let's check it out. Wild Africa Trek. Guys, this is probably one of the coolest experiences we've ever had at Walt Disney World. We'll dive deeper into all that this tour entails later on in the video, so hang tight. For now, come along with us as we see a completely different side of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Uh, we are accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. That's a big phrase, so I'm going to shorten that to the A Z A. Again, that's the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. No matter if you're in Disney World, or at your local AZA Zoo, it's going to see a lot of pieces of So they look at things for fun. Uh, one of my favorite things to watch is if you take a look at these plants over here, they've kind of been ripped to shreds. <laughs> like these, right? <laughs> ripped to shreds. A lot of the birds that uh, handle this are these little yellow birds. They're called Tibetan Golden Eagles. Take a look at them, right? The Wild Africa Track takes you on a behind-the-scenes look at the many different animal habitats at Animal Kingdom, as well as a private tour of the Harambe Wildlife Preserve that you might all know as the Savanna from everyone's favorite attraction, Kilimanjaro Safari. Yeah. How's it go when you try to take them to the vet? No. Right. Have does anybody put a cat in a cat carrier? Yeah. Right. Yeah. How does that end? <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> right. We're cleaning. We're crying. Nobody is feeling okay. So, with the husband, you gotta water the hippos. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, they don't grow. <laughs> All right, Derek. We'll start with you. All right. Yeah. Good to go. Thank you. Good to go. Thank you. So, we do have a hippo. He goes Dogs are just not scared at all. Yeah. Um, and these guys are herbivores, so they're not um, afraid of the ducks. The ducks aren't really afraid of them, uh, but they're not going to harm the ducks in any way because they are just going for that purpose. I talked about make sure we use the So his kids, when we have the Now that we 
we've taken a closer look at the hippo enclosure, we're off to our next adventure point. Can you guess what it is? Tell us below if you think you know. conservation efforts, there are other exciting activities thrown in the mix. One of those is crossing the rope bridges that you may have seen from riding through on the Kilimanjaro Safari Attraction. I have always wondered what it was like to walk across this bridge, and it looks like it's finally my turn. Here we go! series of bridges on this tour, but the one I'm on is 150 feet long and suspended more than 50 feet above the ground. It also goes over the active safari path from Kilimanjaro Safaris. Oh look, there goes a safari jeep now. Let's continue across and get to the other bridge up ahead. That one goes over the crocodile habitat. Well, we've reached the second bridge, and as I mentioned, this one goes right over the Disney Crocs. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, but I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? I made it. I made it across the crocodiles. Now we just have to get Derek and Rory across too. As you can see, we all made it in one piece. But before we move on, we're going to take a closer look at the crocodile habitat from a different vantage point. Now that we've made sure that those crocs are happy, it's time to move on to our next spot in the tour. If you haven't done so already, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. Also make sure to click that bell icon. It will alert you every single time that we post a new video so you don't miss out. tour where we can take off our safety vests and board our own private safari jeep for a closer look at the savanna. What animals do you think we'll see? Tell us in the comments below. Our adventure guides, Patrick and Paula, were filled with knowledge on every aspect of Disney's Animal Kingdom. The fun facts and insider look at what make this park tick were invaluable to us. The Wild Africa Trek is $199 a person and is three hours long. Discounts are available for annual pass holders and DVC members. 
Tours are offered in the morning and afternoon and include a light breakfast or lunch depending on which tour you've chosen. It also includes a ton of memory-making moments for you or your family. especially in the Great Rift Valley, which is what this whole area of uh, West and East Savannah is actually based on. Private Savannah Outlook is our next stop. Here we have sweeping views of the animals and food. This is also your only opportunity for a bathroom break during the entire tour. So if nature calls, now is the time. Our bento boxes included a chicken curry wrap, sun-dried tomato hummus and pita, tandoori shrimp, prosciutto and crackers, and fresh fruit. Disney's famous pog juice was also available in unlimited supply. Give us some thumbs up if you know what we're talking about. After our lunch, we boarded our safari jeep again and off we went for more savanna and more animals. Once back on land, we were guided back to where it all began. We grabbed our things from the holding lockers and headed back into the park to enjoy the rest of our day. Would we do this again? Absolutely. We can't wait to try breakfast next time. The Wild Africa Trek is an awesome experience. Well guys, we just finished the Wild Africa Trek. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye.